The blockchain market in the second half of 2022 has so many changes. Significant upheaval is when the stablecoin USN of Near Protocol shut down. Along with that is the departure of the Luna USD model, one of the algorithmic stablecoins considered to have great potential for development. Despite the efforts of Douguan and the community, the task of rescuing Luna was still unsuccessful. Then, at the beginning of 2023, the crypto world welcomed DJET, a new algorithmic stablecoin, the first of its kind in the Cardano ecosystem. Welcome to Whiteboard Cardano. Instead of sitting there watching drawn-out clips of Charles Hoskinson, hereby even your grandma can easily understand the Cardano blockchain knowledge with images, examples, and illustrations within just a few minutes. One topic per week, let's discover today. DJ's stablecoin has been highly anticipated due to its unique operating model, distinguishing it from other algorithmic stablecoins like Luna USD. Let's explore the model differences between Luna USD and DJ and see what sets Terra USD's predecessor apart from the newcomer DJ. On algorithmic stablecoins aim to achieve price stability in the market. USD uses Luna as a reserve currency, while DJ uses ADA to ensure a non deviation from the pegged price. In other words, if the supply of the primary currency increases, the supply of the reserve currency decreases and vice versa. If the supply of DJ rises, the supply of ADA drops and vice versa. Similarly, if the supply of USD increases, the supply of Luna decreases. The first difference is that the entire Terra ecosystem is built around Luna, while DJ is fundamentally built around ADA and operates within the Cardano ecosystem. This means that when Luna USD encounters issues, the entire Terra ecosystem will be affected, and in practice, it collapses rapidly. DChat, on the other hand, is ultimately just an open source protocol operating within a vast ecosystem of Cardano, relying on the value of ADA but not entirely dependent on it. When DChat encounters issues, Cardano ADA will not be significantly affected, and instead, it can serve as an effective support to help DChat quickly regain stability. However, DChat's model operates with less dependency on the ADA coins in its protocol, in contrast to the interdependent relationship between Luna USD. Terra USD is backed by the trust of users in Luna, creating assets out of thin air to maintain system stability. In reality, when Terra USD decreases, investors and traders can buy or exchange one Terra USD for a certain amount of Luna worth one dollar. In other words, these constraints create an ecosystem when exchanging one Luna for one Terra USD to maintain the Terra's value at one dollar. As a result, if users and investors lose faith in the value of Luna, they will sell both Luna and Terra. This happened when the death spiral became a reality and Terra USD suddenly dropped into free fall. In DJET, the assets are secured by ADA, meaning the value of DJET remains stable at $1 regardless of the price of ADA or SHEN. To mint or burn DJET or SHEN, users have to deposit ADA into the reserve pool. The minting and burning of DJET and SHEN depend on the collateral ratio, which must be maintained at a safe level indicating the correlation between the amount of ADA contributed by users and the amount of ADA pledged to mint DJET. Moreover, in terms of relative nature, within the protocol. DJ uses externally collateralized assets ADA, while Terra USD uses internally collateralized ADA assets via Luna. This leads to the following issues. Firstly, the collateral assets securing DJ have their own utility, with separate use cases from the DJ stablecoin projects creating an independent protocol. The value of the collateral is recorded and transparent on the blockchain. Meanwhile, with Luna, it is only claimed by Terra blockchain operators verbally. Secondly, the collateralized assets of Terra USD is flagged below the threshold level. In similar terms, they have a lower basic value compared to the amount of assets being minted. Therefore, expert Henry Elder at Wave Financials has stated that Luna is indeed the very spiral of debt that many predicted. The transparency and decentralization are further emphasized by this difference. Luna Terra is a permission blockchain which requires permission from the network system for users to access. DJET Cardano, on the other hand, is a permissionless blockchain where anyone can participate in the network without needing access permission free to trade on exchange. By using the external collateral asset ADA, exceeding the collateralization threshold, having transparent and public reserve value and automatic management through smart contracts, DJS is gradually redefining the definition of algorithmic stablecoins which has long existed but has not been successfully built. 
The aftermath of Terra's collapse has caused USD-related DeFi protocols to plummet by more than 98% by the end of 2022, and there are no signs of stopping, even with legal intervention. The emergence of DeFi still brings skepticism, concern, and anxiety to the blockchain community, wondering if DeFi will make the same mistake as Luna USD. This can also be seen as a difference between Luna USD and DeFi. Currently, Luna UC died in 2022, while DJET was just born at the beginning of 2023. Are you thinking, not all stablecoins are created equal? How DJET will develop, we cannot assess, but we hope it will be the most stable stablecoin in the ecosystem, so users can once again trust that not all algorithmic stablecoins are irrational and live for freedom like that. If you're interested, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to receive the latest video. Leave your comments, questions under the video, and we'll try to explain and answer in the most understandable way. Thank you and see you again!